This video is about Joe's mother. Do you remember my friend Joe? For those that don't know my friend Joe, in a previous video, I described my friend Joe as the personification of a meme. Like Bobby Boucher, most of what Joe learned about the world and religion came from his mother. And Joe's mother learned everything that she knows about religion from the same place that most people today do. Social media, movies, and anti-religious comedians. Now, Joe's mom is one of those cool moms. Now, she's very liberal, she lets her kids pretty much do whatever they want, and she can spit off religious cliches faster than you can say, Joe Mama. But as settled and virtuous as these alleged facts sound, they're usually false. What facts are they? Let's get into it. Number one, all religions basically teach the same thing. Now, if you found yourself repeating the claim that all religions basically teach the same thing, then there's only one of two possibilities. You either have no idea what more than one religion teaches, or you have a stronger case of ADHD than even I do. Now, if you're in the camp of the first, you can be forgiven. And if you're in the camp of the second, then I'll try to make this point quick. Given all the major world religions, here's just a couple of differences that quickly come to mind. Some teach that God exists. Some teach that God does not exist. Some teach at death you go to heaven or hell. And some teach that you can come back to Earth as this guy. Some say that God is the only divine being. And some say that not only is God divine, but so are you. And so is your doorknob. And so is dog poop. When people make this claim, instead of seeing the differences, people seem to only focus on similarities. After all, all religions basically tell you not to act like your favorite political candidate. But the error here is thinking that the differences aren't as important as the similarities. In a lot of cases, such as God existing or not, or there being life after death or not, the differences are far more important than the similarities. Number two, all religions are equally right. Since we live in a society where there's a lot of different belief systems that are near and dear to people's hearts, a lot of people don't feel comfortable telling others that their religious beliefs are wrong. So they naturally conclude that the moral thing to do is to claim that everyone's religious beliefs are equally right. Well, two points. Now, the criterion here goes back to what we've already established in the last point. Either you have no idea what the different religions actually teach, or you're a really bad listener. Second, if I said that the moon was made out of coconut ice cream, and you said that it was made out of lunar rock, now we could both be wrong, but we couldn't both be right. Because there's a truth about the moon that will prove one or both of us wrong. For example, you have some religions like Buddhism that says that God does not exist. And then you've got some religions like Christianity that says that God does exist. So how can both of them be equally right? Many today see religion only as a moral system or as a therapeutic tool of some sort. They believe that the only purpose that religion serves is to make you act better or to make you feel better. If this is the case, then all religions very well could be true in the same sense that some therapeutic exercises may work for you and not work for someone else. But religions claim much more than that. They all claim to be true explanations about how the world really is. The basic idea of this point is that all religions and worldviews claim that the world is a certain way, and we can check what we do know about the world and see if it fits into that worldview system. For this, we can look into science, history, archaeology, cosmology, um, psychology, morality, and even some philosophical explorations such as meaning and purpose. By the way, for more meaning and purpose, see my recent video with Dr. William Lane Craig. Now this video will no doubt spark some debates and discussions, and some will inevitably say that science proves that only physical things exist. If that's your view or someone that you know's view, then stay tuned because I got a video coming out soon exactly on that. Do you have a friend like Joe Mama? Now we at What Do You Mean care very deeply for the Joes and the Joe Mamas of this world. Because of this, we've created a way for you to donate to an educational cause that will provide worldwide relief to those who are victims of ARCS. Now, you can support this cause by subscribing to this channel on YouTube, and after you've done that, you can support this crucial cause by sending this video to a near and dear friend who's fallen victim of ARCS. And you can send it to them with the following note. I hate this guy, but watch and tell me what you think. Watch till the end. And if you're one of those that got suckered into watching this until the end, your friend clearly cares about you and wants to see you get well. We're not your enemy here. We're, we're your friends. We're just trying to help you because we don't like where this is headed. Now, before we get started, there's just one question that I have to ask. And bear with me because I'm not quite sure how to say this, but I'll just say it. What do you mean?